Hi everyone, Nico from Talk Notes here. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you three ways to convert and transcript your uh, voice memo on Mac. So I'm going to go from the easiest method to the hardest. Uh, the hardest, you will need to be a bit more technical, but I will show you everything. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is that you need to export your audio. So I'm going to just open the voice memo app and you will see all your audio here. So what you can do is just click and drag on your desktop and you should get a M4A file. So the easiest method, and obviously I'm biased because I made the app, but uh, is to use TalkNotes. So if you go to TalkNotes.io, so I'm already logged in, and what you can do is you can just click here, click here, and up, you can just upload your voice memo and pick style you want. So here I just want like a try, list, a quick summary, create notes, and it's going to convert it into a proper uh, transcript and list. Yeah, and that's it. So TalkNote is super fast. Uh, you can just try it for free on talknotes.io. And I'm going to show you the second method. So the second method is using YouTube audio transcript. Now, the catch is that you cannot upload directly your audio into it, so you need to convert it into a proper video first. So you can go to um, any, like really any video editor, so you can use uh, either canva.com or uh, you can try CapCut, Cap Cut, sorry, uh, it's free. So you can download it and you can, I think you can even do it online. So you can just convert your audio into anything you want. And yeah, I think, uh, yeah, you just need to register, but otherwise it's uh, free. Uh, but here I'm just going to use canvas. So I'm going to click create design and I'm just going to select video here. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop your audio file here, like that. It's going to upload it. And that's pretty much it. So then you can click download, select MP4 video, and it's going to turn it into like a proper video. So we just have to wait a bit. Okay, the video is downloaded. Now what you have to do is to go to YouTube and we're going to upload the video. So you can click create here, upload video, and you don't have to actually publish it or anything. Uh, you can just okay, upload it. And all this doesn't really matter. Uh, just click next, like that, like that, like that. And make sure it's private so no one can see it. Okay, actually that was fast. Um, so you can see uploaded here. So now what you can do is to click here and there is like here, show more. And you have to scroll down until you arrive here. So language, and you can just select the language you want. So I'm just going to select uh, English here. You can press uh, com Command F to go faster to find the English language and select the caption language. Same, we're going to use English. Okay, and then you can click save. So now that you added the language, you will have the subtitle option available. So you can click here and it's going to uh, automatically transcribe the, um, yeah, the audio of your video. So here you can see, and you go here, this is just a quick demonstration audio and you can just copy it and put it anywhere you want. You can put it in Apple Notes or whatever. So yeah, that's how you do it with uh, YouTube. And then you can uh, delete the video. Okay, so there is one last method to do it. Uh, the problem with YouTube video caption is that it's not really 100% accurate. So sometimes you will have words that uh, don't really match what you said. Uh, so this method is basically using the same thing that TalkNotes use under the hood. So TalkNotes does everything for you. Uh, but here I'm going to show you uh, how you can do it yourself. Okay, so the next step is to go to openai.com and you will have to create an account. So here I'm already logged in, so I can just click login here and you can click API. And here you can go to view API keys. So you will have to create a new key. Um, it doesn't really matter how you call it. So you can just click, click create new secret key here. Uh, I'm just going to call it like my key or whatever. And it's going to give you like a code, like a what we call an API key. So you can copy it. Uh, keep in mind that once you close 
this little pop-up, uh, you cannot see it anymore. So I highly suggest you copy it somewhere safe. Um, then what you're going to do is to open the app called Terminal. So it's uh, directly built in on Mac. And you are going to enter this code. So export, open AI, app AI, key, you know, and then you can put your API key. Uh, keep in mind, this API key are confidential, so don't share it with anyone. I'm just going, I'm going to delete it after this video, but this is just to show you. All right, so the next thing, I can just click done, and uh, this is pretty much over. Uh, the next thing is I need the path to my file. So you can just right click and press uh, option on Mac. And here, copy my voice memo uh, as path name. Okay, once it's done, go back to your uh, terminal app and we're going to use export audio file path equal and I'm just going to put that here. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you need to put the uh, brackets. And yeah, so if you get this message not valid in this context, uh, you will need to put the brackets. So make sure this is valid. And once you're done with all that, we're going to send a request. So I'm going to put the code under, but you can, you should be able to uh, copy and paste it and you can just up and press enter. You can wait a little bit and it's going to return your text here. So you can just copy it and then you can put it anywhere you want in Apple Notes or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is three methods uh, to transcribe uh, your voice memo on Mac. So let me know if that was helpful.